Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Dr. Asi, and today's topic is reproduction cell reproduction of cell. These are chapters six and seven from the book Concepts of Biology, the Orange OER book. So let's get started. Um, so I also want to point out that this is module two. In module two, we are we are gonna start with this chapter in six and seven reproduction. Then we will continue with um inheritance, which is Mendelian genetics, and then we will uh, finish the module two with gene to protein like uh, gene expression. Okay, so um so let's get started. Okay, um what is cell reproduction? Well, this is actually covered in two uh, two chapters here, six and seven. Um, which is mitosis and meiosis. So there are well, there are three items: cell cycle, mitosis, meiosis. Right. So reproduction is basically birth of new organisms, and we can make um, we can use mitosis if it is regular cells. We can use meiosis if it is gametes, like some special cells. So we will talk about those. Um, so you have always a parent cell and you have daughter cells and then they could be product of mitosis or meiosis. Um, of course, uh, it has to be started with a duplication of chromosomes before actually anything can happen. So we will talk about that. But there is also another reproduction system called asexual reproduction, which is basically a reproduction that doesn't uh, uses mitosis, but only requires one single uh, one single parent and there is no fertilization happens. So some organisms and some simple animals and, and some plants, they can actually use mitosis and asexually reproduce a new plant. So the new plant will be exactly clone of the the parent that actually this it comes from. And sexual reproduction on the other side requires fertilization, two parents, fertilization, and then um, a special cell division, which is called meiosis. Okay. So uh, we start with cell cycle and mitosis. Um, so in eukaryotic cells, most genes are in, uh, in chromosomes and basically in nucleus, and some might be in mitochondria and chloroplasts. So number of chromosomes it's actually varies you can see a table here uh, koala has 16 um this in deer has six opossum has 22 mouse has 40 dog has 78 rats have 102 and goes on human has 46 chromosome numbers so you carry the chromosomes look like this you see in this picture basically they have histones and they have proteins and they have DNA, and then they have genes inside DNA. So histones are proteins packaging the DNA in, in the chromosome. Um, a centromere is basically like a waste, like it, almost near the middle of the chromosome, kind of separates in a long arm and short arm. Um, so like you see here in the picture, a chrom chromosome here at the top, when it duplicates, now we have two sister chromatids, and then they separate in different cells we are going to see. So there is something called cell cycle, which is the big picture called cell cycle, is order of these events of sequences that we are going to see. So which look like here, this picture. Cell cycle is made of three parts, G1, S, G2, and then uh, might have, sorry, four, four parts. G1, S, G2, and um, mitosis. Right, so G is growth here, G1, it's cells growing, and then S is the DNA synthesis, G2 more growth, M phase is a mitotic phase, which is the cell division at the end here. So uh, mitotic phase also has two parts. There is mitosis, which we are gonna spend a little time, but end of the mitosis, that comes cytokinesis, which is this division of cytoplasm. So mitosis is the division of nucleus, and cytokinesis is the division of cytoplasm, right? So you see here, mitosis is made of like um, 
five uh, major uh, phases uh, and then there is interface. So interface is basically uh, this G1, S, G2. If you look at the chromosomes, we don't see them really very clearly. We just see a cloud that's interface. Um, this is an animal cell. You can easily tell with the centrosomes here and it's a round shape. And then there is prophase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, right? Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. In prophase, now we see the chromosomes and they are duplicated already. In metaphase, they line up in the middle like they're taking a selfie, right? And then um, in anaphase, they split and they go to opposite directions, like they are now called daughter chromosomes. And then telophase, they move to two opposite ends, they form two nuclei. Now we have one cell look like an eight, number eight, and then has two nuclei inside. That's telophase. And cytokinesis will come after this, will cut, 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 cut from the middle, and then actually cut the cytoplasm and then now make two separate cells. That's that's end of mitosis, which they are identical to parent cell that we started with. Okay, so um, here is a little more information about it. In animal cell, uh, this cutting area in telophase is called cleavage furrow. In plant cell, it's actually is called cell plate. But the same idea, different names. Um, cancer cells on the other side actually don't follow uh, any of these system. And they basically, um, they are just abnormal cells. They used to be maybe normal cells and maybe after mutation, they actually became an abnormal cells. But one, one thing about them, they don't follow these cell cycle control systems. And that means they can skip all these rules and they can keep multiplying and, and increasing the cell numbers there. So if the cell the cancer cell increases like that, they form something we call tumor a tumor can be a benign tumor. Uh, so this is so benign means is basically uh, they also call it good tumor, kind of so called, which is basically it's in just one location, it's just starting, and it could be maybe removed or uh, something can be done on it that's benign versus if it is metastasizing and reaching out to the um, other places in the body, then it becomes malignant tumor. Okay, so malignant is the bad tumor. And then that's, it's explained here in this picture, uh, a typical breast cancer situation. And you can see here in early stages and then late stage with metastasizing happening. Um, cancer treatments, uh, there are some treatments already existing, like, like radiation, uh, radiation therapy or chemo, like common treatments, um, how to prevent from the cancer. So obviously there are some direct things that directly link to, uh, uh, directly link to the cancers, like um, so that can, that could be avoided, like not smoking can help, exercising regular ways, it can help, Ex uh, not staying under the sun, uh, extended times can be useful using uh, sunscreens, can help. Um, of course, early detection can be also helpful. Um, that's mitosis, and meiosis is still a, another cell division, but actually it happens in uh, spe specific cells, not regular cells, but in specific cells called gametes, like egg or sperm cells. Okay, so there is a term called karyotyping, which is basically taking picture of ordering all these chromosomes next to each other and taking their picture, full, uh, full uh, karyotyping of all chromosomes, which look like the picture here. You can see here a human um, karyotyping. You can see they start with the largest chromosome, like number one to the smallest, like Y chromosome here, you see here, and they are numbered. There is a reason for that. And then each chromosome is unique and um, has unique genes. Okay, and you can see the centromer, which is kind of divides the chromosome into half, but there is a short arm and there is a long arm, right? This should, uh, so um, 
human has 22 regular chromosomes and um, two sex chromosomes, either XX in female, XY in male. The regular chromosomes called autosomes uh, also. So the gametes are the special cells like egg or sperm cells. You can see this is a typical life cycle. A life cycle of an organism is has two parts. So the first part is called a uh, sporophyte, which is basically two n diploid, and then it goes through meiosis and then creates uh, egg or sperm cells. Now that part becomes gametophyte, which is haploid, half of the chromosome numbers. Okay, sporophyte. If sporophyte is two n diploid, gametophyte is one n haploid like egg or sperm cells. Then they go and unite through a fertilization and they become also diploid. Now they move to sporophyte again. This is called alternation of, uh, basically alternation of generations. It alternates between gametophyte to sporophyte, sporophyte to gametophyte. And two processes help here. One is meiosis, which is this cell division, uh, and then, then uh, fertilization, the other process. Okay, so, uh, what is meiosis? And meiosis is like back to back to mitosis minus one stage, which is interphase. There is every stage has two two parts, like prophase one, prophase two, metaphase one, metaphase two, but interphase has only one one interphase. Uh, meiosis happens in regular uh, in um, not, I'm sorry in um, gametes, while mitosis happen in regular cells. My meiosis, this here, has 10, uh, 10 phases. So it's like uh, there is meiosis one, first five, and then meiosis two, second five. But it's very similar looking to mitosis, but it's like twice is happening. And at the end, now we end up with four uh, cells, but their chromosome number is half now. So we start with one cell with two chromosomes. We end up with four cells and after my meiosis with one chromosome each. So our daughter cells that we actually produced under after meiosis, they are not identical to parent. They are all unique and their chromosome numbers are not same as parent. They are half chromosome numbers. These are gametes. So they are not regular cells, okay? Um, so if you compare mitosis and meiosis, so uh, mitosis takes one parent cells, make two the other cells identical to parent, same chromosome number, diploid, diploid. Meiosis take one parent, goes through two phase uh, six. I mean ten phases of meiosis produces four, four uh, new cells, four the other cells, and then they are half the chromosome number of parent. Mitosis produces identical, meiosis produces unique, unique cells. Um, and so this brings us to a topic called genetic variation. Genetic variation is something that a number of items can cause genetic variation, which is also a positive thing for many reasons. Um, so a number of items can cause genetic variation. We just see some of them, um, as you see here, um, so the, the the meiosis, what's happening in meiosis can help. Um, also, uh, if you look here, so the, for human, the N chromosome number is 23, and um, there are 8 million different chromosome combination possibility uh, in each case, independent assortment. Um, so you can see here, what, what really happens is the second picture here. So... It doesn't go blue, blue, red, red, but it, it's really mixed up in the in the in the uh, in the, uh, the other cells. Okay, it's like red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, blue, red. So it's like all mixed up. So and there is another uh, another item helps the genetic variation, which is random fertilization. So a human egg cell is fertilized randomly by one sperm, and that leads to genetic very variety in zygote. Chances are one out of again eight million three hundred eighty-eight six oh eight. That's the number, and and humans would have if you multiply that by two. That's seventy trillion different possible chromosome combinations.
Um, there is also another thing that we will see in the future chapters called crossing over. So during my essays, actually, we can see here in metaphase, uh, uh, during metaphase, so when they when the arms of two chromosomes get close each other overlaps, they might exchange parts. That's called crossing over. You can see that the end we don't have like patterns like blue and red. We see also blue with red parts, red with blue parts. Okay, so and but sometimes there might be issues that myosis actually didn't work properly. Then the then um chromosomes might actually not go correctly to the uh, to the uh, to the daughter cells. This might cause cancer. This might cause other genetic disorders. You can see here instead of going one one, this guy has three. This guy has three. Has extra chromosomes. This is abnormal having extra chromosome in the offspring. Again, uh, we see cancer cases. That's because of this uh, this kind of uh, non disjunction causing aneuploidy, like you see here. So, okay, normal sperm fertilizer egg with the chromosome result is two, 2n plus 1. This is a problem. This is an abnormal situation. Down syndrome is another situation, which is, in this case, there are uh, there are three chromosomes in a specific chromosome number, which is chromosome number 21. It's called trisomy 21, and this is one out of 700 children in the U.S., actually affected by this, this Down syndrome. Um, there, are, there might be abnormal uh, sex chromosomes like XXY or XXYY or XXX or XO. These are all abnormal situations. And um, so you can read about the rest of it in the, in the chapter uh, six and seven. So this pretty much con concludes my um, meiosis and mitosis chapters six and seven, uh, reproduction of cells. So to uh, just to recap, again, these are two chapters we cover, cell reproduction, cell cycle, mitosis, meiosis, and um, keep reading from the chapter, complete the quiz, um, and keep studying. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Happy studying.